morning, Vikings. This is your KVIKS News Bulletin for Tuesday, May 7, 2024. My name is Mayo, and the periods today are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Today at Hilo High School, yearbook pickup. The yearbooks are here. Please go to see Miss Mann's room in L5 during lunch on your class's priority day this week. Bring your ID and or your receipt. If you do not pre-order a yearbook, you can buy one for $50 cash on your priority date or after. The pickup times are as follows. Juniors today, May 7th during lunch. Sophomores tomorrow, May 8th during lunch. And freshmen Thursday, May 9th during lunch. All Vikings are welcome to come on Friday, May 10th during lunch. Mahalo for the yearbook crew. What's new Vikings? Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. Hey Vikings, it's Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week here at Hilo High, so it's the perfect time to tell your favorite faculty why they're awesome. Today, be ready to share the scoops on why your favorite teacher is great in a special video message. Remember, all week, be on the lookout for ways to show your favorite teachers and staff that you appreciate them. Have an awesome week. Tamba Surf Design Contest winner. Congratulations to Chasia Ledward for winning the Tamba Surf Company Design Contest. Head to damba.com to order your shirt. $10 from every sale will be donated to Miss C's classroom. Online sales are available for a limited time only, so order now. Senior Picnic Permission Forms. Attention seniors, if you do not get a permission form for Senior Picnic on Monday, April 29th during song practice, please pick up a permission form from the three available locations. Mr. Yamamoto's room, R13, Miss Schweitzer's room, A16, and Miss Arbel's room, A22. All forms are due to Mr. Yamamoto by Monday, May 20th, 2024. You do not need teacher signatures for your forms. If you do not turn in your permission forms, you will not be able to jump in the pool and participate in senior picnic activities. More information about senior picnic will be announced at song practice. KVIKS will be back after these messages. Attention Hilo High 9th to 10th, 11th graders. Are you interested in STEM? Do you like meeting new people? We are looking for East Hawaii's high achieving students to represent Hawaii in the 2024 to 2025 inaugural Hawaii International Science Experience or HICE program. Mahalo for your interest. HICE is paving the way for our youth to embrace the challenges of the interne interconnected world with a passion and determination. We are providing students opportunities to interact with globally diverse peers, enabling them to broaden their international perspectives and foster relationships with exceptional foreign students. Through our six-day program, students will participate in fun activities, behind-the-scenes industry tours, and collaborative projects across the island. For any questions or support, contact Branson Hatake Naka at bransonhatakes at gmail.com. Applications are due May 17th, 11.59 p.m., so apply now. Hey Vikings, are you interested in debating or competing with speech? If so, come to B45 in Miss Salaberte's room on Tuesday after school to get a glimpse of what speech and debate is all about. Debating can broaden your knowledge and skill sets important for everyday life. There will be snacks and lots of interesting opportunities. Thank you. High school kids in the Hawaiian Islands are learning to recognize both sides of an issue through the 2024 Hawaii State Debate Tournament. Our Hawaii Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee reports on what has Hilo High School students talking. Hilo High School's debate team was one of two neighbor island teams representing the Big Island at the state debate tournament on Oahu this last month. However, Hilo High was the only public school team from a neighbor island. I've never been to an event like that big before. Hours of preparation were involved for Hilo High School's debate team when freshmen Mayo Nakajima and Seneca Reddy arrived at Kamehameha School's Kapalama for the big event. Nerves kicked in. The campus was so big, I adapted to it and I, it felt really good to be the only public school from the neighbor islands that was being represented there. The stage was set for the four kids representing the Hilo High School debate team. The resolution for this year? Whether or not the United Nations should abolish permanent membership on its Security Council. Who could blame them if they felt? Unsure about what I was going to say, but upon doing more research and talking with my partner and my other team, um, I definitely grew the confidence. Russia, United Kingdom and France, also known as the P5. The Hilo High team is young and will have a chance next year. It is a team effort. If you have the negative side, then you come up with the main speech and then your partner basically backs you up in the debate tournament and vice versa. 
So there was a lot of really strong private schools there, like Punahou, Iolani, um, so there was a lot of pressure there. But you're also able to put your own passion into it. You also do so much research to fight for your own point. So same, same with free speech. People are not persuaded by just one side, but they can hear both sides. Reporting from Hilo High School, Jeremy Lee, Island News. Here's today's menu for wiki, Portuguese sausage, brown rice, pineapple chunks, and applesauce. For lunch, tuna salad sandwich, lettuce leaf, and tomato slice. Baked potato chips, strawberry fruit gel, celery sticks, and sliced peas. Thank you for watching. Find more announcements and watch the bulletin again at kilothigh.org or download the mobile app. Follow at Kilo High School on Instagram and Facebook. This concludes today's announcements. Have a great day, Vikings.